Hello everyone, Relgan here with a game that I played against BioEyes on the European ladder, he's an ATM. I don't know what kind of MR he has, but, but I believe it's like 5.8. And today we're going to have a look at the 6 ring opener that, well, the pool first 6 ring opener that I like to play a lot in my CVC games on shorter rush distance maps. I'm going to show you guys one macro game and one all-in game. To kind of explain to you how the build works. So it's a normal four, 13 or 14 overlord, then a 17 pool. We drone up to 18, we throw down the hatch, and then we throw down one gas, and then we save the larva. You're, you can either build one more drone, one more overlord, or save the larva. The difference is if you build the drone, you get the gas a little bit faster, right? If you build the Overlord, you're safer against all-ins because you will already have additional supply to build links and won't need to, and won't need to extract or trick out links. We're going to see that next game. Or you can also save the larva and then you have your third link a little bit faster. Like this, you can see I my third link is about four to four. I think it's like four seconds that you lose on it. Then once the pool is done, we build the we build a queen then an overlord and then we start droning up our gas. The first six links they go across the map and we're going to see what they're doing shortly. I'm checking to make certain that he expanded. I see my opponent expanded so I'm fine. I sent the queen down to the natural build an additional queen. Let's wait a sec. So at home I droned up my my gas, got all drones into gas and I'm droning up my natural and I'm also going to build an, a queen at my natural. I might delay it a little bit because but that would be a mistake. Over here I'm trying to do damage with my links, right? Even trading against his links is good, but ideally I want to kill drones. The goal is to force links out of my opponent. My opponent uh, might think it's a link bane link or something like that, but in general it's a really really economic build. With a focus on maximizing the early game larva to my advantage. By building the six links, instead of building drones for the gas, my opponent uh, might not have enough links to cover his natural, he might not build, uh, he might only build two links, in which case I can deny mining time at his natural or something like that. You're going to see what you can do when you play this build on your own. Once I reached 100 gas, I'm starting my lair, I got two queens here, at around the 3 minute 10 mark I usually throw down an evolution chamber and a roach warren. I need this to wall off this area. And then I ideally don't want uh, links to run into my main. If I'm scared that he's going for an attack, I've walled this off fully. If I'm not really scared of an attack, I'm not gonna wall off fully. I think right here, I'm going for the full wall off because I see that he's running links across the map. I really don't want additional links in my main. I took the additional gas around the 3 minute 40 mark, I think, 345. The goal of the additional, the goal of the build is to maximize the amount of roaches I can push out on two bases. So, I got the lair, I got the missile upgrade, which is re really, really important. Plus one missile is a very, very important thing because it allows roaches to one-shot links. And I think they also need one fewer uh, shot to kill, uh, to kill enemy roaches. Once the lair was done, I got the roach speed, throned up everything in my main. Then I take the third base whenever I have enough money and I'm just building as many roaches as I possibly can right now. If we check the income... This is a normal two roach, uh, two base roach v roach. He has four additional drones and now he has to build his own roaches. He can't really go for a more economic approach because if he would, he would most likely just be overran by mass roaches. Once the plus one missile upgrade is done, I immediately get the plus two missile upgrade. I kept some roaches at home in order to kill any links. Then I'm going in here trying to get a trade. As long as I can take a favorable trade, I'm trying to take it. As soon as I realize that my opponent has more units, I retreat. Because I have roach speed and he doesn't, since I went for the faster lair, I can kind of pick my fights. So, there shouldn't really ever be the, uh, a position where I have to take a bad trade for myself, because I can decide whether I want to take a trade or not. At home, I built additional drones. I usually go for like 51 drones and I take 4 gases total. And at that point I built nothing but roaches. I'm starting my plus one carapace upgrade shortly after my plus two missile upgrade. And I just spam the roaches. My opponent is going for a very similar build. He's also getting the tunneling claws with Burrow. But mostly it's just roaches as well. He went for a lot more workers. 
I think that's a mistake, but we're going to see how it ends anyways. The plus 2 missile upgrade is really important in CUC because it makes it so my opponent needs an additional hit to kill my roaches and the plus 1 carapace upgrade makes my roaches quite a bit more tankier. I sniped as many overlords as I could, now I have my plus 2 missile upgrade ready and I'm going in for the kill and I straight up murder him. It's not even close right here. I want to keep pushing because as long as I have an upgrade advantage I can take a really nice trade so even taking a couple bad corrosive piles here and there is still good for me. My the entire goal is to just keep pushing as hard as I can. So to summarize, um, I went drone, overlord, drone, 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 pool, drone, drone, hatch, gas. 17 pool, 18 hatch, 17 gas. Built six, uh, sent one drone to the gas, six links across the map, as much damage as I possibly could. I just got a follower, guys. Which one of you was that? And then I built a... Ah, oh, that kind of threw me off of concept, but then I built the lair. As soon as I had 100 gas, I went up to three queens total, evolution chamber roach for around the three, uh, I think it was the 320 mark. And I need these to wall off mostly, and I want to have the evolution chamber done around the time I reach 100 gas. Then I throw down the roach foreign, take additional gases as my natural approaches saturation. Then I wall off if I need to, in case he goes for an attack. Take the build, start building defensive roaches so I can take my third, take my third base as soon as I feel comfortable, get the roach speed on the way of course as well. Spam roaches so I can hit a nice roach, roach speed plus one missile up, upgrade attack and then I go up to like 51 drones, 4 gases, plus 2 missile upgrade, plus 1 carapace, roach speed timing and I just kill him. That's it right. Now we got a little bit a uh, slightly different uh, game right here that I want to show you guys as well. Uh, this opponent is a little bit below me, like two, three hundred MMR below me, like five, four, I think. But it's still going to be an interesting game to see. He's going for the gas pool. I'm going for my normal pool hatch gas opener. Uh, as I said, the shorter the rush distance, the better the build. This time I didn't build, I'm going straight for the six things to get them out as fast as I possibly can. My overlord is going to see that he is not getting a natural. Then I'm going to send one drone into my extractor. The six things are here ready to do the pouncing. And I already saw his links with my overlord so I know they're here. I'm trying to go in for a fight. It's six things versus six links. He takes a slightly better trade here. A uh, bit annoying for me, but still, uh, any trade is a good trade as long as it's some as long as it somewhat makes sense. And at home, I'm just building. I built an overlord, and I'm just spamming the links. I'm also building a spine, and uh, I'm building a roach one as well in case he's going for a 13, 12, because the roach one can be really useful, right? And you can already tell, most likely, that this is a pretty good position for me. We're going to see what happens here. Now pushing down the ramp with the queen is a bit risky because if he gets a kill on the queen I can be in a bit of an awkward position. But we have very similar unit counts. Actually I have a little slightly higher army count than him. So this build is, I wouldn't call it a, a hard counter but it's really good against the 13-12s that he is playing. And because I built the spine crawler in my main I'm not gonna lose much in my main base. The queen sadly dies. The banings all die and the game is defended, right? I boost the spine down here, I'm starting to build some roaches very soon and my opponent pretty much has to chi-chi out of the game because there's nothing left. But this build also is really is a really nice build to defend against the 1312, right? Here's the roaches that are on the way. Because I can just build the spine crawler. I already have six things in time that, uh, when he has six things on my side of the map. I can scout whether he builds a natural or not and react that way. But the build is also really nicely defensively. It's just kind of hard to pull off on long rush distance maps because by the time your six things are out there, you're in a bad spot. Thank you all for watching. I'm gonna write a guide on this build on spawning tool as well. So I hope you will also watch that. And with that being said, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.